it's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outliner, I'm back, look, this your first time on my channel, I want you to subscribe, first of all, you know, at the end of the, I want you to like, and then I want you to comment, you know, do those things in that order, now, on my channel, I post a lot of haircuts, but sometimes I like to do barber tips, or give barbers some game on some things, and a lot of stuff been happening this weekend. You know, I got my dream chaser hat on, you feel me? So, I felt like, you know, I need to give something back to the dream chasers. Because we all dream chasers, I hope, right? So, thing I wanted to talk about, a barber inboxed me and he was like, you know, how can I be a clientele? He was just starting off, right? So, uh, I forgot his name, but... Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, I gave him a couple pointers. I, I gave him three tips. So I, I wanted to share with you the three tips that I gave him and why these three tips would be successful. So the first tip I gave him was to be the first and to be the last person in the barbershop. That's number one. When I was, you know, first starting out, I stayed in the barbershop. You know how they say, uh, Kobe's a gym rat or somebody's like that a gym rat that I was a barber rat right you know I wanted to cut anything moving right and what goes along with that because I didn't give them a, you know the detail what goes along with you know being the first one and last one also is set your prices accordingly now my walk-in price for barbers in my barber shop is $25 now, sometimes when people get fresh out of school, your cuts might not resemble $25. Let's just be honest about it, right? So, along with what I'm saying, you have to adjust it. Now, I would probably say, hey, we normally charge 20, I mean 25, I'm gonna charge you 20 because I'm new, I wanna build clientele. You can, you know, tell the person what you're trying to do, you know what I mean? So. So they can understand what you're trying to do, right? So it's good to have good communication, right, with, you, with the clients. So that's the first thing that you want to do and incorporate your prices with it also, right? So that's number one. Number two, uh, focus on the client in the chair. So while you're focusing on the client in the chair, that means like, have a conversation with them. Find out what they doing this weekend. Find out, you know, uh, you know what they did today or what they like, what they into. So you have to find something that you can uh, relate to them with. So the next time you see them, y'all can follow up on it. So uh, he might be a Texan fan like me, right? So we're gonna talk about the game that happened last week and you know what happened, what he saw compared to what I saw, you know, you build a foundation from there, you know what I mean, or, or a movie that just came out clean and slim, you know, it's hot, you know, it's a hot topic, and if he haven't saw it, that's cool too, you can tell him, hey, it was good, I think, you know, it's not a waste of money, you can do this, 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 and that, you build rapport with your clients, the client is... That's almost the number one thing. The things that I'm giving you is not in any particular order. These are just the three things that I told him off the top of my head. It's a lot more that goes into it. But build a rapport is, is extremely important. You know what I mean? Because once they feel like, oh, we like the same things and we get along and we can talk about this and that, then they, it's not about the haircut no more. It, the haircut does not matter anymore. It's about... Oh, I vibe with him. We vibe. So I'll go to him even if the haircut is just, you know, it's decent. It's not, you know, superb, but it's decent. You know, hey, I'm going to go to him because I get along with him better. So, you know, remember some of these barbers sometimes, you know, uh, barbers that charge $60, $70, they don't really have a personality. And sometimes when people go to the barbershop, they want to be able to talk to their barber, relate to their barber. Right? So that's number two. Number three, what I told them, promote, promote, promote. That's what you got to do. Now, 
you know, let's say I don't watch a lot of TV, but when I'm watching TV, I see the same commercial in an hour, probably about four times, right? Three, three to four times at least in an hour. I'm like, man, what? Is it nothing else at home or something? Like, and like, you know, but they pay for those slots, and at the end of that hour, I'll definitely remember that video. So, you know, take that into account. So when I say promote, 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 go to every outlet you can. Now they got a new outlet, TikTok. You can promote them. TikTok is new. New people joining every day. They looking for new content. Jump on, give them some content. Try to be you. Let your personality shine. Same thing with Instagram. You know Instagram is popping. Why are you only posting once a day? Or once every four days, five days? You know, sometimes when barbers are slow, you know, any barber, you know, if I see it on Instagram or whatever, in my shop, whatever, if you slow and then, you know, I look, the first thing I'm going to do is look at your page and see when the last time you posted. And like, you posted seven, eight days ago. Like, you know, you, you have to continuously be fresh on people's mind. I don't care if you got three pictures that you rotate throughout the day, the same three pictures. It's okay. You posting and you being active. These things trigger the algorithm that you're being active, right? So they're going to promote you. That's just how things work. The more active you are, the more uh, it's going to promote you with anything. It don't have nothing to do with the algorithm. That's period, right? So you want to promote LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, all this other stuff. I don't know. You know, used to be periscope you know what any way you can find a market yourself market yourself and when you're done with that go to your neighborhood walmart neighborhood grocery store you know walk around pass out to people the, the thing that you really want to look for and identify with is families right you see a guy with two boys you definitely want him as a client because there's three haircuts you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's three haircuts. Like, so, if I was starting out, I would identify with families because he got him and his two boys, they five and six years old. Well, guess what? You can at least cut them till both of them turn 18, so you got to climb for the next 10 to 15 years if you just take care of them. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy to build clientele when you know how to do it. A lot of people really just don't know how to do it and what it takes. And those are just three things that I'm giving you off the top of my head. I'm sure there's more stuff that I could tell you. I'm just, you know, putting out a quick video because I, I want people to build clientele, right? And it, uh, as a bonus, I throw in there, you know, how to build more clientele is, you know, get you a book site, you know, a booking site like I use Style Seat. They got uh, the cut now. They have uh, what's the other one? Uh, it starts with a P. But anyway, they have so many of them, right? So you just pick one. Customers feel more better about coming to you. Also, if they know they can book it and you can be on time for that. Like, hey, I want to come at nine thirty in the morning every Saturday because that's my routine. I like to get my hair cut and then start my day. If they know they can get to you at the same time every week, it is it builds the clientele for you. That's one, one person that you don't have to worry about on a Saturday or one person you know you got on a Saturday, you know what I mean? So they like that. People have things to do. Like the days of sitting in the barbershop for two and three hours waiting on you to get a haircut, those days are over. Nobody wants to wait, and it's not good for you. You know, if you need to go on vacation or something, you know, you can block your schedule off like I do. So th those are some of the things that can help you out and, you know, get you along along the way. So, And an extra another bonus. So, you know, study your craft and perfect it. You know, watch videos, and that's you already doing that by watching like my video and things like that. So, you know, watch videos, you know, uh, get in tune with what's going on, what's the latest things going on. You got to stay on top of things, you know what I mean? So that's my barber tips for you. Uh, I like to drop these videos. It's just these videos really don't 
gain a lot of traction for some reason, but I like to do entrepreneur videos, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, cause I do more on Instagram than I do here, uh, follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube page, Mr. Outliner. Follow me, holler at me. If you got questions, you can inbox me on Instagram and I'll reply. Now, I might not reply right away, but I will reply because the person that sent me these qu this question, it took me like two days because he hit me like on a Friday. So I'm busy, you know, anyway. But if you hit me up, I'll answer for sure. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Ah.